All right, so uh, build is successful. And as always, you know, a build being successful doesn't mean everything works right off the bat, but uh, we have, uh, you know, at least something to work with. So I wanted to show the whole desktop because I wanted to show you another really cool tool that I found. Um, I've been struggling with how to show you guys me using the phone. So basically what I've been doing is just making screen recordings and then I play those screen recordings back to you guys. Uh, but what I found was a really cool uh, program called ADB uh, Control. And you can see here uh, I have the website and uh, I believe this is uh, Marion Sh Shedniggs. Hopefully I didn't mispronounce that too bad. But uh, Marion Shedniggs uh, website here and a really really awesome tool that uh, that they made um, for using uh, ADB control and essentially what it does is this ADB control program is a Java program that uh, allows you to um, click anywhere on the screen uh, and it sends an event of swiping or clicking to the phone and then on the phone it uses ADB to uh, take a screenshot and then ADB to download that screenshot and then displays it in your ADB control application so it's a little bit slow um, but it allows you to uh, have your phone hooked up to your computer and control it all with your mouse which is really really handy um, something to keep in mind uh, this is a really really awesome tool for something like if your uh, screen is broken or if your uh, touch doesn't work um, remember sometimes when we're using Yalabi uh, for our phone we have trouble with the touch working um, so you know a couple of things that you can you can utilize that for as well um, even when we were building team win recovery project where we had a similar type of problem um, do keep in mind though that you need to make sure like the screenshot utility is actually put into team win recovery project so you might have to build a custom one for that fortunately we were able to fix the uh, team win recovery project in that regard but uh, but this is just a really awesome tool I wanted to highlight it uh, and to um, show you the build here and you can see it's kind of slow so I had already swiped and now it's bringing it up I'll, I'll give an example here I'm gonna sw I'm, uh, I'll announce as I click so that way you know so click drag release and you see it said swipe and then on the phone it's already moved and now I'm waiting for the screenshot to update as it takes that screenshot and there it updates so I'm gonna uh, click drag release and you see the swipe command the screen has already moved on the phone out here but it, I'm waiting for the screenshot to update and it's really really just an awesome program that allows you to control your phone uh, through ADB and it's uh, it's pretty sweet um, actually I'll go ahead and close it so then you can see me launch it here the command uh, to launch it is uh, this java-jar adb control dot jar if you're using this in Linux uh, in theory because it is a Java application you could probably use it in Windows I haven't tested that so I don't know um, but uh, when you launch it it uh, brings up the screen takes a screenshot and then you can resize this to whatever size you want um, here we go we'll just have a really big screen you know and uh, we can uh, click on things and of course there's no music found because uh, this phone just got loaded but uh, it's it's just really neat um, that uh, this program exists out there and I think this would be a really really handy troubleshooting tool for you to use as well one thing to keep in mind <clears throat> it's a, just a zip file you unzip it and it has all these codes here and you have this config.properties which uh, the writer here talks about how to edit that for your particular phone it's really simple um, pretty much just these four things inside of it uh, and you can see right here if I go to config properties just these four things right here it needs to know where your ADB command is uh, how long you want to delay on the screenshot and then the local image file path e.g. where are you downloading the screenshot to and uh, where do you want um, 
it to save the screenshot on the phone. Uh, so with each screenshot that's taken, there's one taken on the phone and then it's downloaded to your computer. So in my case, I put it in the download section. So if I go to the downloads right here, we see it up there. And if I change the screen, so now the screen has moved, We're waiting for the screenshot. It's going to take a new screenshot. It's going to download that screenshot. This is going to change. And it did, and then it um, loaded it into the application so you can see it. So just really, really cool uh, thing as well as uh, a few other commands. It does take keyboard input for uh, enter escape as the back key, um, home, backspace, and cursor keys. So that is pretty awesome. I wanted to highlight this uh, really, really neat tool as we look at uh, what we're doing with uh, with trying to upgrade this Blue Life XL um, through the different uh, versions of Android. So we've got Marshmallow. We've done Marshmallow twice now, uh, once with the Yalabi, once with the uh, Wiko as our base um, ROM and uh, as our base guide for a tree to, to kind of copy from. And uh, they have different pros and cons, different things work or don't work with each one. And so, you know, at this point, like if you were trying to release these ROMs, you would definitely want to fix these issues so you could release it and move on. We are really trying to focus on just doing the upgrade process and how we get started with that. So I'm not going to spend too much time troubleshooting the issues. Perhaps later we can make some videos where we go back and try to figure those out. But uh, I just want to show how we can do the upgrade in different ways. And so we've done the upgrade uh, just making, essentially making a device tree from scratch by, you know, looking at a similar phone that is upgraded to a newer version and just using that as a guide and making a device tree from scratch. Uh, and that worked out pretty well. Um, we have uh, looked at the differences between the files of a phone that has been upgraded and made those edits to our file tree and uh, and that is what we see here um, and then uh, so next time our goal hopefully we'll uh, we'll go ahead and go up to nugget and we'll do the goal of uh, using um, the commits and using git to automatically import those commits for us and try to merge them and see what kind of trouble we can get into so I just want to show you know the diff various different ways that you can utilize um, you know, uh, the tools available to you to uh, upgrade a phone from one version to another. And it really helps having some good guide phones to work off of. But I get a lot of questions like, well, what if, out, if there's not really a guide for my phone? You can always use any any tree, I suppose, as a guide just to give you an idea of what should be in there and then put your information in there. But almost always, it's very, very rare to find a phone that has a processor that has never been used in another phone. There's always a system on the chip uh, of another phone that is similar to the phone that you have, and you can uh, pretty much always find some sort of a guide phone to work from, um, especially if your phone is not brand, brand new. I mean, if it's cutting edge new material, then you might have a little more difficulty with that but most most phones uh, if they've been around for more than a year there's going to be some phone out there that you can use as a guide uh, to work with so um, hopefully that's helpful to you hopefully you find this tool to be really cool uh, ADB control highly recommended I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can find this tool download it please take the time if you can to uh, thank the person who made this tool and uh, once again, that's oops, that's a picture. Uh, once again, that's uh, uh, Marian Shadenig, and I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that name, but I want to give credit where credit is due, and uh, and really thank this person for this wonderful tool that they have here. So um, be sure to check that out.